So Wisconsin and the country have a low unemployment rate, one of the lowest unemployment rates ever. But wages aren't growing fast at all, and there are a lot of unskilled, low-wage jobs out there. Colleagues in the local press are decrying that the middle-class jobs are gone. But on reflection, CNN.com reported last month there are 6 million job openings in the country and 6.8 million people looking for work, those reportedly looking for work, not counting the people who have stopped looking. There are a lot of jobs of the 6 million that are skilled jobs that those people looking for work can't do. You can still make money in this country if you have a skill, if you have a trade, if you have some sort of high-tech ability, for example. I had a tenant who was a software engineer at Epic. He was from China. He had friends who worked there who were also from China and software engineers. I've since met recent days of a young man who's from Korea who was a software engineer at Epic. Is that because Epic doesn't like Americans? Doesn't like native-born Americans? No, they, they have jobs for people who can do the jobs. The late Paul Sangas, senator from Massachusetts back in the late 70s, early 80s, wrote a book in the 80s called The Call to Economic Arms. And 30 years ago when he wrote the book, he decried the fact that we had 800,000 lawyers in America and 80,000 engineers at that time. Japan had 800,000 engineers and 80,000 lawyers. So for those who create wealth, that's on the one hand, we need more engineers, and no offense, but fewer lawyers per capita. But there are also jobs that pay. You can still do pretty well as a plumber. You can still do pretty well as a dental hygienist or a medical assistant or an electrical utility technician climbing those poles. It's hard to make a lot of money in a job that doesn't have those skills where they can hire somebody else. You're not gonna get rich as a cashier at Walmart or driving truck, driving people around. Those jobs are very noble and fine, but they don't pay as much. We do have a lot of jobs for people that would pay more, but the people can't do them. So that we have apprenticeship programs in middle school and high school, get people into technical colleges, whatever the case, there's a gap in the skill area. And if more people could do those jobs, they would make more money. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCosh, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We talk about this more tomorrow on The Mitch Hanks Show on madisontalks.com.